Hello people and thanks for watching. In this tutorial we will be learning how to use Visual Basic to create a basic chat recognition app or a chat bot app. So we're just going to create a Windows application. I'm going to name this My Chat Bot. The first thing we want to do is name the form. So let's call this form FRM chat. So from FRM chat, we want to create a text box, and this will be our user input. So we'll give it an appropriate name, so txt input. And then we'll also want to create another text box, and we'll make that multi lined. We actually should make this one multi lined as well, and I'll explain why in a little later. And then we want to extend that, maybe like that. And we can just put that there. Let's give this a different color so that way we can tell it's a different window because it get confusing. And there we go. Okay, actually, we need room for a button. So let's take a button and we'll just uh, write send. If you send that, we can add fonts and cool stuff later to it, but. I like to get the fundamentals of the program down before we start adding stuff like fonts and other unnecessary things that just make the app run more smoothly anyway so let's double click this button to create a button click event and then the first thing we want to do is dim string actually now let's call this input as string and then we want input to be equal to txt input dot text and from here we can do a variety of different things to get the application to recognize text and then do a function and um, I think the most simple way is to use an if then statement and the contains string function so we're going to say if input dot contains Let's just do uh, family. Then we want our, I don't know if I named this actually. I didn't, I should probably name this. Let's call this TX, TXT bot. Then we want TXT bot dot text. Actually, let's dot append text because we want you to be able to see the full chat history so we want to append the text tell me more about your family and then we want to and vb new line that and the reason we want to do that is so that way if we add more of these statements it won't all be on one line it'll be on multiple different lines so now if we run our program and we say my family. Hit send and it says tell me more about family. Now you don't just say my family, you could just say anything family and it'll say it'll stay. Tell me about family, we'll just say that on anything. You have to specify the keyword family which is what is said here. This is searching for a keyword family. Next we want to add another statement. So how do we do that? So we'll create an else if statement, input, which remember is our string variable, which is set to the text box, dot contains, um, what should we have it contain? I am. So if the user is telling the computer something about themselves, then we want txt bot dot text or no, we want to append text. We want to append the text to that is interesting. But say we don't want it just to say one thing every time they enter your thing. Because right now, if I do this and I say I am, they'll just say that is it'll just say that's interesting. If I say I am this, it'll say that's interesting. If I say I am this again, it'll just say that it's interesting. For some reason, it's not indenting, but I'll have to fix that later. Because oh, I didn't add an and vb new 
line. This is why we're indenting, so it does. I am. Okay, there we go. So, what if we don't want it to say the same thing every time? Then we have to create a random variable. So, I'm going to go actually to my public class here. And I'm going to call. Oh, no, I can't do that. I'm going to go just here. And I'm going to call my randomize function. And what that means is everything under, every variable under this that is set to a random instance will be randomized. So, how we declare a random variable is we want to dim, let's just do rnd num as an integer. And the next thing we want to do is rnd, no, is, next thing we want to do is, is we want to do rnd num equals int rnd, which is our randomized function, and then times and we're going to have three different options. What the multiply, what we're multiplying here is what we want the range to be. So we're going to make this a range of three, and then the plus at the end is what the starting number is. So what this means is this integer is set to a random instance between one and between one with a range, starting at one with a range of three. And now, what we can do with this number is, instead of it just saying this, we can actually put an if-then statement within our else-if statement. So let's just copy this here. I'm actually just going to delete that. So then, inside my else-if statement, I'm going to call another if statement saying if rnd num is equal to 1, then we're going to say that's interesting. Else if rnd num is equal to 2, then we're going to call something like cool. And then lastly, else if rnd num is equal to 3, we're going to call great. So now, if we run it, I am. Instead of just saying one thing, it'll say multiple different things, so that way you can actually build a more efficient brain for your computer. And obviously there is no way that you could have the most intelligent uh, bot in the world. There will always be more that you can add to this, more sentence structures, more grammatical structures, but this right here is about as simple as it gets as far as a chatbot as it goes. There obviously are more complicated algorithms out there that you could use, but for people who are just starting off, I believe this is the simplest way to explain it. So thank you all for watching. If you like this video, be sure to like it, and yeah. The source code will also be in the description. So yeah.